Hello everyone, how is it going? Welcome back to another video on our new account series. Alright guys, so uh, yeah, in today's video, as usual, I'm going to go through all the progress that I've done in the past 24 hours. Okay, alright, so uh, let's start off the video with Arena. So 10.3 million points with 21 victories. Not bad. I am on Untouchable. Yes, uh, I think I should be reaching Invincible if I play a few more fights. And uh, we still have a lot of time left. So I'm going to try my best, you know, to reach Invincible if I can. And get some extra gems for myself. And, uh, you know, get some more shards. I mean, shards are going to be the same amount. Uh, 360 shards. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try to get some more gems. Going forward. Okay, let's buy some, some shards for Horrific Scarecrow. So I basically, you know, I usually play with King. I think you already know those teams. Uh, you know, maybe I'm thinking about uploading a video uh, for our arena fights uh, in our new account. So do let me know if you guys are interested in watching those fights because I've changed some teams here and there, some characters. Uh, you know, so if you guys are interested in watching the arena fights on my new account, on my Beta Voids account, do let me know down in the comments. I think it's been a couple of weeks before I uploaded the last video, uh, you know, for our fights on Arena in the new account. Uh, so, yeah, do let me know. All right, guys, let's jump into Champions Arena. And here we are. Finally, I am on Division 3. You know, I've been grinding very hard to reach here and uh, you know what i don't mind being on this division for like the next few months you know because i know division two will be super difficult for me on this new account division one is out of my reach right now so, so division three is a place where i will stay for a very long time now i just need enough points to stay on this division you know i just need to get around 150 maybe 200 points which probably is enough for me to stay on Division 3. And as soon as I get those points, I will feel a bit safe because I need these 1400 gems every time we finish off an arena season, you know. And getting these 1400 gems plus, uh, let's say, 1200, 1200 gems from uh, arena, 1400 gems from here, which means uh, it takes us to 2600 gems uh, in a week from arena and champions arena. And uh, then... I think uh, some gems from daily rewards from operations would probably take us to a thousand more gems. Not thousand, let's say 700, six, six, 700 more gems. So which means I can easily save up to 3,500 gems in a week, you know. And if I'm reaching, uh, you know, like invincible, then that would go till 4,000 as well. So on a new account like this, you know, which is like four months old, not a new account, but an intermediate account uh, where I am basically, a, you know, a very uh, at a very initial stage of the game uh, you know i'm basically getting 4000 gems every week which is definitely not bad you know so the, the thing about champions arena is that uh, you know there is one good thing that they give you an option to stay on the same division otherwise there are two options you either stay on the division or you get back but yeah we also got one other option to stay on the same division if in case you don't get enough points all right, guys, now we still have a lot of time left. I will definitely play uh, Champions Arena today. So let's move on into solo raids. All right, boss Batwoman the Drowned is still living and breathing. I still have a couple of pips left, uh, which I probably might use to defeat Dark Supergirl. And then I'll fight these two later on and try to finish them off. And then you will also see a video coming out where I defeat uh, Batwoman the Drowned as well. I don't think that she is that difficult. Uh, but yeah, you know, most definitely it would take me a couple of pips, uh, you know, here and there to take down boss Batum in the Drowned. And uh, when that happens, I'll definitely record it. And as I said, guys, my prediction was very clear and it is happening that I will reach tier 4 and defeat at least the sub-bosses over here, at least a few of them, and not if not all, uh, you know, then, uh, you know, when the season comes back next, next time I'll defeat uh, boss Batman who laughs. And uh, as far as my other accounts are concerned, I'll probably defeat Batman Who Loves today uh, on my main account on Heroic 4. Uh, not Batman Who Loves, I'm sorry, Robin King. And uh, I have to see where I am on Lord Lucifer. You know, that is another account that I usually play with. Okay. 
All right, guys, now let's jump into, let's jump in the store. Okay, there we go. We got a Deathstroke uh, legendary chest available right now. Uh, now, I don't have any gems on my Lord Lucifer's account to open this chest right now, but uh, whenever I have enough gems, I think Deathstroke is a really great character, a person that's damage dealer, and I might use Deathstroke you know on a on lord lucifer i have already got raven but that is the only good legendary character that i have on lord lucifer i need to get deathstroke or black adam as soon as i can so that i get a little bit more damage uh you know in in, in terms of doing percentage damage and then we got this girl of steel super gold premium hero chest back uh which is again a really good chest and a really good character so if you don't have her just go and get her that's as simple as i can make it you know just go and get this particular character she's great she's a great support character all right, guys, let's move on into the roster. I do have uh, some resources which I can use over here. Okay. Level 50. And the other gear might not go to level 50, but might go to at least level 45, I think. Or maybe a little bit more. Yeah, 46. Okay, let's upgrade it directly to level 46. Okay, and uh, yesterday when I was re-rolling, I got an epic, epic critical attack chance. Let's do that again. I mean, it's kind of rare to get a critical attack chance or critical attack damage as an epic talent. Uh, but yeah, let's see. We have a lot of coins though, which I can use. Okay, attack is not going to work out. So it's a very simple build for King when it comes to talent. Three critical attack damage and three critical attack chance. That's like the traditional build. You know, you, you don't have to, you know, change the build according to the artifacts that you use. That really does not make any sense to me. So please do not change the build. Uh, you know, uh, just because the artifacts uh, will, uh, you will get more damage because of one particular artifact. Because there is a quite a decent chance that they might nerf some of these artifacts in the coming future. So, and then you might have to rework on your build again, maybe even the whole build. So, please do not do that. Okay, so we haven't received anything yet. Good. Yet. Okay. You know what? Just a few more. Just until we spend around 20,000 coins. I thought we, have, we were stuck on that resistant, resistant talent. All right, it looks like today is not a good day to reroll talent. Ha, huh. all right, guys. So I guess that's about it for the video. You know, if you enjoyed it, give it a like and let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, you have a great day. Take care. Be blessed. Have a good one. Bye-bye.